In this quick tip, I'm going to show you some new ways I've discovered to go from those triangulated meshes to quad meshes. A common practice for those wanting to either convert a mesh into a solid or edit using T-splines. So here goes nothing. First, we'll use Recap Photo, what used to be called Remake. This is the easier of the two ways I'll show, in that all you need to do is load the mesh into the software, then go to the Export option on the left-hand side of the workspace. From there you can define the type of export to be OBJ with quads. And part of this process allows control over the number of faces that'll get created. You might consider turning this down if past exports weren't handled well in Fusion, or you might want to increase it if quality was lost. In the Quick Export tab, you'll find simplified options that will have a similar effect. Anyway, from here, just hit Export to find a place to put it and let it chug away. It can take some time though, so don't expect this to happen as quick as I show here. Next, let's look at another way you could do this, this time using Matfab. Similar to last time, we can add the part to the project. And once in, you can either dig into the modify options by right clicking on the model in the parts list, or use the drop down menus at the top. What you're looking for here is manipulate mesh. In this tool, you can reduce triangles, smooth, but what we're looking for is this third tab, remesh. Once there, use the drop down to change to create uniform quads and the slider below can increase or decrease quality. To the left this time will make the quality better. With the settings defined, we can then calculate it. And after some processing time, the quad conversion is complete. Just click OK to finish the manipulation and choose whether you want to replace the original within the project. At this point, don't be alarmed that the model still appears to have triangles. That threw me off a little bit when I first did this. But let's not forget that two triangles is a quad anyway, right? Okay, now for the export, which I'll get from the right mouse menu again. Export part, and what we're looking for is a wavefront OBJ. In the dialog that comes up here, make sure that this toggle is selected. It was not selected by default, which also threw me off the first time I did this. That said, after hitting OK here, we're done in NetFab and ready to bring it back into Fusion 360. This next section will be a little bit on the quicker side, assuming you have some working knowledge of the mesh workspace. If not, See the videos linked in the description below for more info. In the part mode that is not capturing history, I can access the mesh workspace from the normal dropdown and insert the quad eyesed mesh. With that done, we can then switch to the sculpt mode and using the convert tool set to quad mesh to T-spline, select what we brought in. Now we have a sculpted body that can be manipulated with a huge array of options. I will have you note know the loss in quality on some of the more cubic portions of this design, but those can be remade in Fusion. As we bring in the next mesh in the background with the same steps, I will note a monthly subscription to NetFab Basic will cost $30 a month, and Recap Photo, which comes with Recap Pro, will be $40. But there are trials available for both. I'll link these in the description too, but it's important for me to note that both of these products require that you have a PC, so sorry to you Mac users. Anyway, I hope that helps you out. I was a bit hesitant to present this because we rely on other software, but knowing a solution is out there at all is worth sharing.